Hi there, and welcome back to Jeff, who has just returned from what looked like an amazing trip to Australia with Sue. Good to have you back, Jeff. Yeah, it's great to be back, mostly. <laughs> In this podcast, we would love to explore your thoughts from your adventure down under and how your relationship with Australia has impacted your life and well being. So let's get started. The latest blog was entitled Stories. And in it, you touched on your life in Australia pre-Sue. How did it feel to be back? And was it how you remembered and hoped it would be? No, it was, uh, it was very different going back. I mean, it, the connection to the land was still there. I always loved Australia and always felt a strong connection to it, especially uh, it's such an ancient place. Everything is so old. And so... To me, it's a real gateway into the deeper parts of the mind. The people, this time, I was a little surprised at because they were very politically correct. I mean, they had engineered their outside world really, really well. Everyone was living comfortably for the most part and, you know, had a level of prosperity and, you know, shops and malls and cars and houses and all that kind of thing. But internally, it was a desert. You know, so few Australians seem to have taken an inward journey and instead have gone for the really Western material trappings. So in, in some ways, that was quite difficult to go back to and mm. to see how, how little they'd sort of evolved in that way. Uh, you know, many of them... Many of them are really fit and care about their diets and things, but like in the shops were very few organic products. There were, you know, people still eating huge amounts of meat, wow. you know, all those kind of things. It's like, it's, you know, they hadn't really been touched on a deeper level. So how do you feel your relationship with Australia has <laughs> changed? Yeah, I, I mean, I still love the place. I just, you know, of course... How can you not love the beaches? I mean, the beaches are just fantastic and the swimming and, you know, it's just, it's amazing. And that outdoor life, it's such a, such an energetic place. People doing so many things. It has that kind of outdoor life because of the weather. I mean, we were there, it was really hot and the northern part was flooded and the southern part was on fire, but we were in the middle part, which was basically <laughs> having a drought. So, um... You know, the climate in Australia is for the most part comfortable, but becoming more extreme. And I think, you know, that's a product of global warming, which is an, another issue that they're not really addressing. Their agriculture is suffering from that. And um, anyway, you know, how do I feel about Australia? I'd be back there in a New York second. However, it wouldn't be for the people. It would be for the, for the land, for the country and for that, the ancient aspect of it. So it certainly wouldn't be the cities, it would be the bush. No, it is absolutely stunning. Um, so what were the defining moments of this trip for you then? Well, it's interesting because, you know, I was there from the time I was about 15 or 14 and a bit till 21. So obviously formative years for me. And I went back to my schools and I went back to my colleges. I went back to where I worked, where I lived, you know, where I swam, all that sort of thing. And the main thing was just realizing, actually, you don't have a past. That there was really all the, those, some of the buildings were still there, many, many are gone and a lot of change. But it's just like recognizing, you know, your past really, really is just a story in your mind. It, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. What exists are the feelings and the experiences and for me, you know, that many of them going back to, you know, where my parents lived for a short time in a beautiful spot north of Sydney and swimming on the same beach that I used to swim at was kind of remembering that experience, but also recognizing that that was only me having that experience and nobody else <laughs> was part of that. It was, so that was very different. So... And that, and just being reminded again about much of the nature, the grandeur of Australia. And uh, also for me, of course, is really touching again to that 
First Nations Aboriginal culture and recognizing that that is the, you know, 60,000 years of continuous civilization or, or culture, you know, it's, it's one of the rarest things on this planet. And so for one of the last days in Sydney, Susie and I went to the Australian Museum in Sydney and they have an exhibition on about Aboriginals and their culture and their ways and things like that. And that for me was really, really touching to spend a couple of hours in there watching the videos and the films and you know, remembering that ancient culture. Mm, humbling, I would imagine. Yeah. So, finally, what will you take away from your <laughs> wonderful adventure? Yeah, I, I mean, me and Susie had a great time, and I think Susie learned a lot more about my past, and, you know, we sort of shared <laughs> stories and laughed about it, and it was such a long time ago. And um, But it, I think it was, as I said before, such a formative part of my who I am. So... <clears throat> I just recognise, you know, you you can take me out of Australia, but there's a small part of Australia you're not going to be able to take out of me. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's it was great. It was a great drive, and it was beautiful, and I love sharing it with Susie. And uh, so for her, sort of seeing it the first time with her eyes, and me seeing it again after 50 years. So. Oh, that's, yeah. just, that's just sent shivers down my spine. Ultimately, <laughs> that's what it's all about, really, isn't it? Yeah. It's sharing. Oh, absolutely. No, I mean, it would have been almost meaningless to be there by yourself and without being able to share it with somebody. And um, I think it's just one of those things that makes us all just a little bit more complete. Well, I think we'd all agree the photographs looked amazing and we were all just a little bit envious. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff, for your thoughts from Down Under. And uh, we'll be back soon with another podcast. Great. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.